hello everyone welcome to mommy peace vlog today is your first time of seeing my face ah god bless you my name is joy i'm a mom a wife a content creator that is from data state but based in the city edo state if today is your first time of seeing my video god bless you please join this amazing family by clicking on my video watch my video and by clicking on my subscription button subscribe to my youtube channel may god bless you and when you click on my subscription button press the click on the bell that will show all like a l f all so that whenever i post any video you will be the first person to see it thank you as you do so because i know that you will subscribe god bless you for subscribing to my youtube channel because you have just done me a favor by moving my ministry forward and to my returning subscribers see you guys already know that mommy p loves you i love you with all my heart because you subscribe to my youtube channel and you always come back to watch my video god bless you watch to the end though don't just run away no please watch till the end god bless you i want to share today's table because today we'll be talking about serious things like there are some food we're not supposed to give to our kids under one year under two years and under two years like if your child have not done his two years birthday you are not supposed to give your child some food why some if your child have not done one year birthday you are not supposed to give that food to your child so do not forget i am not a doctor i am not a any professional ex okay in short i read accounting in school so it's different from what i'm doing now all these things that i'll be saying is just based on my experience what i have heard and what i have researched about and i decide to share it with other mom so watch my video till the end god bless you in today's video i will be telling you about some food you're not supposed to give to your child number one on my list <laughs> number one on my list like someone will argue this one with me but i've seen it like i've given this food to my child when my child when my child was less than two years and i saw that it was not good and i quickly made amendment okay the number one is go the more <laughs> yes number one is go the more see if your child have not celebrated his two years birthday do not give this food to their child Godi mom is not an infant food i see no reason why a mother will start giving a child that is six months seven months eight months Godi mom why is it because Godi mom is cheap even the Godi mom it was cheap before but it's still very expensive now i know compared to other uh, series for baby Godimo is still more cheaper, but please, it's better for you to give your child little quantity of a good food than give your child a big bowl of what will damage them, okay? So please, if you have been giving your child Godimo, maybe your child is less than a year, less than two years, if you have been giving your child Godimo before, if you have been giving your child Godimo before, don't think that ah you are a bad mom ah yeah, so uh, uh, want, uh, this is a uh, want, uh, something that is not good will not happen to my child no it will not happen to your child you know why there's a saying that waiting person no no not the key person like you were not aware of it before so it will not harm your child and even all these things that I want to say said it is not all children that it will affect just that we as a mom we don't want to use our children as an example we don't want to waste it when the thing now starts uh, arming the children that is where we will not stop that thing that is not we know so the earlier the better everything gets in your time golden moon is not golden moon is not an infancy way back there was Godi, uh, way back they used to write it in golden moon like that they are refill the back 
they used to write it before that Godimo is not an infant series. I don't know why they are no longer writing it again. But the truth is, if your child is less than three years, please do not give Godimo to them because their stomach will not be able to digest it. Like that Godimo, if you want to, maybe you want to do experiments, give Godimo like just one one plate of Godimo. Give it to a child that is less than one year. You will see that when the child will stew, the child will bring the golden more out. When you want to wash that your child bum bum, use your hand to wash the bum. Don't use white bum. Use your hand to wash that your child bum bum. You will start seeing the, the corn in your hand. It shows that the food did not digest. That means your child's stomach did not digest that food the child can just be crying you will think that ah you are crying too much ah you want to kill me please go and sit down is a way of the child expressing his or herself to you if it's a child that have not done two years but there's some that child have not even know how to talk the child is trying to tell you that mommy daddy this food is not good for me or my tummy is paining me my tummy is paining me that is why the child is crying <laughs> yes that is why the child is crying so please i beg you with the name of god do not give your child that is less than two years kojimo like maybe now you have three kids four years three years two years just like me you can do it like this the one of four years and three years, maybe the day you want to give their Godimo, you can give them Godimo. The that one of two years, why not buy normal cellular junior? A uh, normal cellular for uh, it's not cellular junior. Why not buy normal cellular for that child? A child that is less than two years. You can buy any food that they write in the they they, they they put in the container that from six months to 36 weeks you can give those kind of foods to your baby that is less than three years okay i know economy is somehow we all know and we all are still trying to push through but please don't endanger the life of your child or the health of your child because you think that these are expensive so godimo is cheap you can do your research Google it. Is Godimo good for a child under so 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 a just Google it. You see the results. And if you decide to stop, you stop. If you decide to follow, you follow. But nothing bad will happen to them in Jesus' name. Amen. So the next one on my list is salt. <laughs> Do not give your child salt, especially your under one year age. I know we as a parent, if we are eating, we would like to be putting small, small in their mouth. That is fine. But maybe you want to make their normal food. Do not add salt. You want to make pap, and maybe there is no milk in the ad, there is no sugar. Uh, 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 you think uh, there is no sugar, you just want to a uh, quick, quick something. Uh, let me just put so that the child can eat it. Mm -mm. It's better you give that child ordinary pap. Let the child manage it than adding salt. Do not put salt to your child's meal because that one year, two year is their formation age. And so many things in their tummy have not, have not formed very well. And if you give that child salt, you can damage them. You can damage those organs in their body. So please do not give your under one year old baby salt don't add salt in your other one year old baby's meal the next one on my list is only see this only only this only do not give your child that is under one year only better for you to give that child only do sweetener do a date sweetener maybe the process of them producing this only there might be some bacteria that have entered that only. And when you give to your child, the child can start reacting and it can lead to infant botulism. I will write it, okay? <laughs> infant botulism. I will write it so that you pronounce it very well. You can even do your research. What does that thing mean? So, do not give them only. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will do a video of Atto. How to make your own date. See, once you do, once you prepare your own dates, like your date syrup, 
you will not like to buy onion again because date alone is very very sweet so better for you to give your child onion give that child dates in the place of honey put a little spoon of dates in your, in your baby's meal maybe your baby pap mm, the child will finish everything so please do not give your child on just say hey, i never hear one before i've not seen it so i've not seen a child that have this thing my sister my brother do not wait till when the child will have it then they will not use your child to do experiments no even me, I don't want it. You too, you don't want it. So, they say prevention is better than cure. So, the next one on my list is noodles. Yes, almighty noodles. Noodles is not for children under one year of age. I know people will say, I used to put carrot. I used to put green pea. I used to put vegetable. I know. And I even used to boil my noodle. Uh, when, when the noodle now boil, I will now fetch the noodle at the way the water raised, I will not cook my noodle. Mm -mm. Better for you to eat noodles. Why not eat pasta? No ma, even at wise, they used to tell us that noodles is not too good for us because of the way they preserve it with wax and all that. I really don't want to go into details. You can do a research about this uh, noodles. But the truth is, noodles is not for babies. So please do not give your child no those okay because noodles contain a lot of salt and it's not good for babies so guys continue to watch my video subscribe to my youtube channel like my video share my video and stay tuned because i will be doing a video of how to prepare a date syrup so that you can stop adding salt sugar or onion to your child meal in the place of those things, you will just add a little bit of date to their meal. God bless you as you watch my video. Bye-bye. Mommy P loves you.